Look how Tesla's Iron Man Elon Musk places his Tesla battery bets. Last week, as Tesla profits and prices grabbed headlines, a potentially pivotal development for the global automotive industry flew largely under the radar. What was it? Tesla's new and cheap batteries. And those are not the 4680 cells. Welcome back, friends. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. If you are here first time, please take a moment and subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news and ring the bell so you don't miss my next Tesla coverage. So the US car maker, electric car maker Tesla, uh, disclosed that nearly half of the vehicles it produced in the first quarter were equipped with lithium iron phosphate batteries. These are the LFP batteries. They are the cheaper rival to the nickel and cobalt based cells that dominate in the electric vehicle market in the West. The revelation eclipsed by the car makers 19 billion dollar revenue and Elon Musk's Twitter charge was the first time Tesla had disclosed such specifics about its batteries makeup. Tesla usually doesn't talk about its batteries makeup very much, but this was the ba first time and it's very significant and it's very important. So why is it important? This news flashed a strong signal that iron-based battery cells for electric cars are finally starting to win global appeal at a time when nickel is blighted by supply concerns due to a major nickel producer Russia situation with the Ukraine and cobalt is tainted by reports of dangerous conditions at artisanal mines in Democratic Republic of Congo. Tesla is not alone in betting that LFP batteries, already popular in China, can make inroads into Western markets. More than a dozen companies are considering establishing factories for LFP batteries and companies in the United States and Europe over the next three years, according to Reuters' review of the electric vehicle scene and interviews with several people. I think lithium iron phosphate has a new life, said Mujib Lias, founder of US battery startup Our Next Energy, which says it is scouting a US production site. It has a clear and long-term advantage for the electric vehicle industry, he says, regarding to the LFP batteries. Lias has worked in the field long enough to see a technology that failed to catch on the America and decade ago gather fresh momentum. He was chief technology officer at Michigan-based A123, an early producer of LFP batteries that went bankrupt in 2012 and was acquired by a Chinese company. He and other LFP advocates cited the relative abundance and cheaper prices of iron as a key factor beginning to outweigh the drawbacks that have held back the adoption of LFP cells globally. They are bigger and heavier and generally hold less energy than NCM cells, giving them a shorter range. There is mountain to climb though. LFP chemistry has accounted for just 3% of EV batteries in the United States and Canada in 2022 and 6% in the European Union with nickel cobalt manganese cells accounting for the rest, according to data from Benchmark Mineral Intelligence called BMI. The race is far tighter in China, where LFP commands 44% of the EV market versus NCM's 56%. You see how tight is the race in China. It could be long and tough road for Western LFP cell manufacturers seeking to prosper against rivals from China, which accounts for about 90% of global production. A shorter term concern for such companies, according to BMI's chief data officer Kaspar Rolles, is a continued dependence on Chinese suppliers for refined materials. LFP cells also contain more lithium than NCM rivals, and industry experts raise concerns that iron-based batteries' historic advantage of being cheaper to produce could be eroded and even erased by rising costs of the metal. Tesla has been using LFP in some entry level, US-made versions of its Model 3 since last year, 
expanding their use of the technology beyond China, where about two years ago it started using LFP batteries made by Chinese firm Cattle, the world's largest electric vehicle battery maker for some Model 3s. Yet, Given the historic dominance of nickel and cobalt-based batteries in the United States, the scale of Tesla's usage of LFP cells in the first quarter of 2022 fitted in roughly 150,000 cars produced, took some analysts and battery specialists by surprise. Tesla did not respond to a request for comment from Reuters. Mitra Chem, co-founder by former Tesla battery supply chain manager Viva Skumar, is working to build LFP battery materials, initially in California. He said he expected nickel prices would remain volatile because of supply chain dislocations. The best insurance policy that automakers have is to incorporate more iron-based cathodes in their portfolio, he added. U.S. electric vehicle startup Fisker, which plans to use LFP batteries in its lower-range SUVs, plans to initially source cells from cattle. But CEO Henrik Fisker, who by the way recently, I think yesterday, left Twitter because it was acquired by Tesla CEO Elon Musk and went to Instagram, said that it was in talks with battery suppliers to source batteries made in the United States, Canada or Mexico from 2024 to 2000 or 2025. Local sourcing is very important because it is expensive to ship the heavy packs from Asia, especially for low-cost, high-volume vehicles, according to Fisker. And he has a great point here. What about if there is another virus outbreak and local production, localizing your car production, your battery production, your supply production is very important for your success. It is also not environmentally friendly to ship everything from faraway places, added the CEO who is is confident there will be a major place for LFP batteries in the global electric vehicle mix. If I never leave Los Angeles, I never leave San Francisco, I never leave London, I think that's where LFP comes in really well, he said of urban developing EV owners who drive shorter distances. Other premium car makers are also looking at the chemistry following the outbreak of the war in Ukraine, including Volkswagen's Audi, which hasn't used LFP batteries before. It may well be that we will see LFP in a larger portion of the fleet in the moment, uh, medium term, Audi CEO Marcus Duisman said in March. After the war, a new situation will emerge. We will adapt to that and choose battery technologies and specifications accordingly. BMW's chief uh, procurement officer Joachim Post also said recently that the company was examining the merits of LFP. Here's what he said. He said, we're looking at different technologies to minimize the use of resources and also we're looking at optimizing chemistry, he said. Among their advantages, LFP battery cells for electric cars tend to pose less of a fire risk than the NCM cells and can be fully charged continually without losing as much performance over the life of the battery. As the global electric vehicle market expands, the chemistry is expected to find its way into more entry-level consumer and commercial electric vehicles where longer range is not as critical. Yet, the hurdles to widespread LFP cell adoption include finding solutions to improve energy density, thus reducing the size and weight and grappling with the rising cost of lithium. Meanwhile, building out and scaling up LFP production in the United States and Europe will take time, underscoring the challenge to Western governments and reducing reliance on China. American startup faces an uphill battle of scaling up to complete, uh, compete with Cattle, the Chinese company, which is backed by Chinese government subsidies and supplies Tesla, among others, with LFP cells, as I mentioned above. Everything has to be deep, uh, disciplined manufacturing without any screw-ups, said Bob Gallion, a former chief technology officer at Cattle, who now runs a battery consultancy, Gallion Energy. He also noted the U.S.-based company does not have to worry about the geopolitical issues that China and U.S. have presently. 
Let me know, friends, what do you think about all of these things? The LFP batteries in Tesla. Does your Tesla have an LFP battery? Are you happy with that? Or have you seen, have you driven Tesla with the previous lithium ion battery and NCM battery and also with LFP battery? What is the difference that you're feeling when driving the car? This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. Please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news. Ring the bell so you don't miss my next coverage. Have a blessed day. God bless you, everyone. See you soon in our next Tesla story.